So when you set the resolution of an image, I would like you to get into the habit of asking yourself, well, how big could it be? And then after you find out how big it could be, then you can actually crop the resolution, uh, crop the image to the size that you want. And so what I would like you to do is use the image, image size dialog box. So go to the image menu on the top of your screen, go down about a third of the way and choose image size. It will launch the image size dialog box and you will notice a few key things about this dialog box. First, it tells you what the image size is and the image size of the image in my screenshot is 6.18 megabytes. The dimension is 1200 pixels by 1800 pixels. The fit to is custom, we're going to skip that. The width and height is 8 inches by 12 inches and the resolution is 150. There is a resample checkbox and I would like you to make sure that you never have that selected unless you're doing so purposefully. When you are changing the resolution of the image, you are redistributing the pixels that are in the image. This image has 1200 pixels by 1800 pixels. If you make up new pixels, it's called upsampling, and it's in general a bad idea because Photoshop will just make up the pixels, right? So if I needed 5,000 pixels across and I have 1,200, Photoshop would be like, okay, cool, I'll make up the pixels. What is that, 3,800? I'll make up 3,800 pixels until your resolution, uh, your, your pixels are 5,000 pixels across. And that's a bad idea because Photoshop's just making them up. And so when you change the resolution, what you're saying is I want to take the pixels and I want to squeeze them closer together so that there's 300 in every one inch, or I want to spread them apart so that there's only 72 for every one inch. And so if you decrease the resolution to 72, you should notice that the inches of your image get bigger. And if you uh, increase the resolution to 150 or 200 or 300, as you do that, you should see that the size of your image in inches gets smaller. So, so I just want to show you on the screenshot here, so you can read the, the slide at your own uh, leisure here, I've already talked about it. But on the right hand side here, if I look at the image on the top here, the dimensions of the pixels is 1200 pixels by 1800 pixels, which is what it was on the previous slide. And the resolution is 150 and the width and height of the image is 8 inches by 12 inches. Now if I look at the bottom image, I've changed the resolution from 150 to 300, increasing the quality, right? The higher the resolution, the higher the image quality. Um, but what happens is my pixels stay the same. I still have 1200 pixels by 1800 pixels. But now, instead of being able to output this at 8 inches by 12 inches at 150 resolution, I can only output this image as 4 inches by 6 inches at 300 resolution. If I was to check the resample checkbox, what would happen is all of my parameters would stay the same and the pixels would change. And so if I had an image that was 8 inches by 12 inches at 150 and I changed the resolution of 300, being able to resample means I can make up or delete pixels. And in this case, if I was to increase the resolution, it would increase the number of pixels, meaning Photoshop just made up the pixels. And I don't want you to ever do that in the image size dialog box. I just want you to ask yourself, how big could it be if I output this at 300 resolution, meaning I want to print it? Or how big could it be if I output it at 72 resolution, meaning I want to put it on the web? And that's the only thing I want you to use this dialog box for. So let's take a look at the image that we opened in Photoshop and let's take a look at that dialog box. So I'm looking at my image here and I want to know how big it is. Before I do any editing, I want to know what I'm working with. So I could go to image and mode. We talked about this in a previous video and I could see that I'm using RGB color mode. I can look at my application window here in a little tab for the file and I can know that it's an RGB, that it's a Photoshop file. And then now I can use the image, image size dialog box, and I can find out how many pixels are in the image. And so the image I pulled off of a digital camera, and so it's telling me that I captured the image as 3,264 pixels across and 2,448 pixels tall. The width is 45.33 inches tall and 34 inches, I'm sorry, 45.333 inches across and 34 inches tall. And because I captured this on a digital device, the resolution is 72, which we know now as web resolution. 
Right now, the resample checks box is selected. So if I change the resolution from 72 to 300 because I want to print it, watch what happens under dimensions for the pixels. It literally made up pixels so that my image could remain 45 inches by 34 inches. And instead of being 72 resolution, it's now going to be 300. And it made up those pixels. I don't want you to do that. I want you, let's hit cancel here. When you go to image and image size, I would like you to unselect the resample checkbox, which allows the pixels to remain the same, but allows you to squeeze them together or spread them further apart. And so now I want to take the exact number of pixels I have and I just want to ask myself, how big could this be if I wanted to print it? And so 300 is standard printing resolution. If I change the resolution, but I do not resample, which means to change the number of pixels in the image, I take the 3,264 by 2,448 pixels, and I redistribute them. I squeeze them closer together. And if I wanted to, I could print this image at 10.88 by 8.16 inches. And that's all I want you to do in this dialog box. I just want you to say, what if I wanted to print this? And so if we're printing this, I could say, OK, well, I could print this at 10.88 by 8.16. And I'll select OK because I'm printing it. And I'll leave the resolution at 300. The next step would be to crop it.